Chapter 9 Deary Dory One evening, Dory went to bed to cry, 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 but wouldn't tell her friends or parents why, why, why. No matter how her family would try, 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 they couldn't stop the teardrops from her eye, eye, eye. They took her to the doctor who said, my, 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 but couldn't get her crying eyes to dry, dry, dry. She sobbed with tears, continuing to fly, 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 like stormy weather raindrops from the sky, sky, sky. But still, she wouldn't speak, for she was shy, shy, shy. The days and weeks and months and years went by, 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 until the day that Tori knew she would die, die, die. She took a breath and heaved a weary sigh, 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 and said, I'll tell you why I'm sad, and I, I, I have never done a thing except to cry, cry, cry. You see, I ate a piece of cherry pie, pie, pie. But I really wanted apple, so goodbye, bye, bye.